Before stones and trees cast their shadows, glittering ebony waves raced on a sea of mythical form under a sky of unknown temperament. Some spark of life combined, formed into a shape that throbbed, felt, moved, learned to swim, desired to see more of its surrounding mystery. The sea being conquered, there was a strange, drier horizon to master and explore. Taste winds that blew white froth from curling waves, be warmed in the light. Colossal trunks burst from brown mud and blocked the sky. Green foliage shimmered and waved in the newly discovered sun. Seaborne creatures grew long necks, extended limbs, tasted juicy bounty the sun had created. In time, two legs proved more nimble and useful, carried swagger better. Mankind was born, grew into a master of his world, all it encompassed, or so he thought. Flexed his power to shape rocks and waters to his will, knowing so little. Forgetting whence we came, we lost a lifeline that feeds us. Our mother ocean lives in our very blood. Forget her, leave her to wither. And so will we. Bees buzzing bloom to bloom, quiet sea covered in miniature sparkles, somnambulant clots of clouds cross patches of azure. Blue sea, green waves tipped with white foamy edges. Lazy roll of occasional distant surf, Old man walking his dog, or old dog patiently walking his man. Sound of shuffling slippers as they move past on afternoon stroll. Breakwaters, brown grey rocks curve from seashore. Every house and garden in winding cliff drive deserted, silent. Seaside park empty, even bees now resting. Breeze so gentle, no murmur even, only soft feel of it on cheek. Enough to lazily move the tall, dry grasses with their seed pods proudly pointing everywhere. Green, yellow, dry grass covers ground, some puffy, rich green bushes here and there, a few trees to tell one he's not on a nullabore. World having an afternoon nap. Boat moves out from behind breakwater, a little wake follows it. First spark of wakefulness all afternoon. Sound of its motor finally reaches here, taking it easy. Now on open sea, motor picks up and boat starts to cut water. Its hull slaps the ripples as it speeds up, crying out, Wake up! I'm here! A small flotilla of some seabirds moves across hanging sky. Only they knowing a destination. Dark grey silhouettes of cargo vessels line lonely horizon, patiently awaiting. Gorna people knew the spot, 40,000 years ago fished and slept here. Watch sun set over their water. Christie's Creek, last place where by fires spirits were sung to set over their land. Bouncing boat has disappeared. Birds gone, Gaurna gone, all is asleep again. A bird chirps, not quite everyone. Life goes on still, awaiting no human hand. A sea of possibilities, unfathomed depths of opportunities, so we hoped. Climb onto that boat, cross the wide stormy seas, and a new life will blossom. But first battle the winds, face those huge monsoon waves, wonder if you'll see the sun of day return. Flares light up the night sky, many life jackets rush hither and thither. Go below, you'll be safe. The engine stops. We pray when the floor replaces the wall as the boat shakes and rolls and pitches. Finally a blue horizon, dry land, 
We have crossed the ocean and Australia beckons. Who knows what this new life will bring? A lonely, green, brown, rocky island watches foamy waves wash distant sandy shore. Black grey rocks pierce those sands, silent witnesses to eons of Earth's history. Earth skin charred, twisted, broken, corroded, now just fragments of its turbulent past that jut from countless sparkling yellow children of its grinding bygone ages, now covering this placid sandy beach. Millions of years of glaciers scrape rocks that once stood here. Lava and sediment then settled into pages upon pages of history books of this earth's past. Pages now torn, scattered on this wave-washed shore. Bright azure sky, green-blue ocean, white frothy waves, glittering yellow sands, green bushes to rest my back against. Two seagulls slowly wave their wings to me as they casually waft by. Green promontory edges out to blue horizon. Rhythmic sound of swelling sea as it washes the beach. Conflicts of elements, fire and smoke disappear in history. Leave a peaceful place for me to come and enjoy the air. Just broken by black, jagged remains of five million years ago which remind me of a turmoil that created this peaceful nook. Turbulence. All moving and sweeping and rolling. Turbulence. A rolling tremor. Discordant sounds crashing together. The roar of the swishing tumult rushing past. Turbulence. Body standing, falling in directions anywhere but where the owner wants. A day at the beach, rough surfs up and it's full of wannabe surfers. Cripes, the tide's coming in, a big wave ran up the beach and all our stuff is soaked. Gotta move everything back. Turbulence! Blue-grey, a kiss of translucent green, with a breath of dusky orange on horizon. Glints of bright red-yellow fleck the clouds, sun setting on quietly crashing waves, rolling onto glowing wet sands, as children's laughter and joy wash over us. Excitement of the digging, moulding, shaping of myriad dreams, plucked from imagination of this legion of merrymakers at Port Wollonga, building their castles to welcome a new year born tonight. How we love to bathe in the ocean, roll and dive in it, splash and blow bubbles in it, a cooling joy that soothes our nerves. As breezes blow over its waves, raising its wetness into gossamer clouds, that breath brings them over fields to release their bounty on parched soils. So grasses spring green, rainbow flowers bloom, golden grains bend their pensive heads and fulfil the lives of people in homesteads so their bounty feeds the grumbling cities. The birds chirp, the cows low, the wolves howl, for so wide is the life seas rains bring that for many ages sea-worshipping did mankind's tribes hold high as life's necessity. Oceans water the roots of our lives, but every act of my hand repercussions creates. Nothing is disconnected, everything permeates all. Safety principle. If you need it, look after it. A bed of multivaried sea fruit, mingled with variegated greenery, covered with a boulebast of dressing. What a feast for the senses. The ocean that surrounds us. Cools my blood as I sink into its massaging waves. Fresh, tangy air livens my nostrils. 
soothing rhythmical sounds, these knots in my body as they breathe out a long sigh. What a relief to sink back into a seemingly endless sea, the source of my ancestral origin. The final destination of every human sewer. What a choice of existence we have. I favour common sense, if not survival instincts. Babbling voices, childish cries, surprise shouts, laughter, cacophony of many voices, gentle crash of waves, shriek of seabirds, distant throb of single-engine plane floating past. Warm air, gentle breeze, cooling moist skin. No need to break water to discover how cold it may be. Enough to absorb its ambience, enjoy its own symphony, be cooled by its waves' breath. A pleasant day at the beach, and embraced by nature that soothes our human struggle. What stories the sea hides, pages upon pages of treasures gained, vessels discovering new worlds, men uncovering new knowledge, new nations revealed, others vanishing beneath the waves. Glorious explorations, inglorious thieving and murdering, great riches unearthed, human losses too painful to contemplate. Like a magnifying glass, these oceans enlarge human efforts for good or bad. Limitations found on land don't exercise their power on unquenchable waves. Go to sea, young man, was a call to many who dared to imagine more. And they answered that call, some for fortune, some for adventure, some for disaster, probably most just for a life to live. Oceans source of our life, existence, some of our greatest stories, source of daily life for so many, was there at our beginning, will be there at our end. A ship's grey silhouette moves towards a setting sun on distant horizon, an army of black hands crawls over rippled sea as dull thuds of distant surf climb up green-orange cliffs and pound my ears. A lone seabird wings north, early end to its hunt. Maybe fishing wasn't too good today? That army of fans has turned a shimmering silver covering the sea, cutting a bright path from dropping golden orb to where I sit on a wooden bench. A dry sky with a toss of feathery clouds above. No great movement to capture one's vision. Nothing to grasp. No issues to wrestle. Peacefulness on a cool winter afternoon. A few quiet minutes in a day of ups and downs, turmoil, laughs, conflicts, sharing. I see a massive block of iron-red corrugated rock that sits ever still between me and the stirring sea. I need that ironstone monolith inside me to anchor all else when I'm not sitting in this moment. Low tide. Brown, yellow, green rocks surface for air as the aqua turquoise blue placid sea lies back in repose onto its bed. An almost silent breeze blows past here. A distant, gentle murmur of waves caresses those awakened rocks. Pleasant sounds to massage the mind and stir pleasant images. A thin white line scars that smooth blue sea as it chases a speeding boat near the still horizon. Occasionally a screech of seagulls, ever alert to another crop full of to swallow. A day where old memories of days well spent arise to be seen when mine settles back to its quiet, restful bed. A low tide, but a high moment. 